So, Mecca Whaiteri will take the place of Parikura Horomea in the Ikaroa Rāwhiti electorate. Suze Mithril reports now on the background of Ms Whaiteri, who's a first-time MP. Kia ora, Mika. How are you? Parikura Horomea was Mecca Whaiteri's mentor, an association she constantly referred to on the campaign trail. It was an, an honour of this, this man that I have put my hand up. Um, to work really hard, to do the things that he has taught me, to be true, to love our people. Māori Party candidate Ma Rehania says that the seat was a Horomia seat and not a Labour seat. He accused Whaiteri and Labour of overplaying that Horomia connection. But that connection began 25 years ago when Faitiri was a 23-year-old master's graduate and began work for Horomir while he was heading up the Māori Perspective Unit in the Department of Labour. That was the start of what she now calls a 25-year journey, travelling up and down the country and working alongside a great man. Now she faces the tough task of filling that man's shoes. You know, I can hear him in the back of my head saying, you, you've got to do this. And so I've braced myself, um, I'm getting on with the job and, uh, yeah, when I'm in situations that I feel comfortable, I'll, I'll let it be known that it, it's a challenge. But for this very traditional Māori electorate, she has the right iwi connections. Ngāti Kahanunu from the electorate's south and Ngāti Pūrō from its north. One of six children, she lived first in Manatuki, west of Gisborne, her family later moved to Whakatū, near Hastings, and she went on to be head girl at Karamo High School. Then to Wellington for university and over two decades in the public service and various welfare organisations. In 2009, she returned from Wellington to become chief executive of Ngāti Kahanunu, the third largest iwi in New Zealand, but still to receive its treaty settlement it already has major interests in fishing and runs a range of welfare activities in the Hawke's Bay. Vaitiri says she is entering politics earlier than planned. This is a safe Labour seat and Labour knew much of its support would be found with urban Māori. The party have held the East Coast Māori electorate for 70 years, but Vaitiri says she didn't take a win for granted. I'm treating this by-election with the utmost respect because of the region, because of the person that held the seat before his passing, um, and just because of the issues that many of our whanau are confronting. No, I don't think I've got it in the bag. Parakura Horomia had a uniquely local political style, founded on situations just like this, a cup of tea and a chat. The question now will be whether a former high-flying public servant and top business executive can build that same rapport with the electorate. So is Mithra with that report.